ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Junel Labor. Ako po si Amy Sue Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We search all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. Titignan natin ngayon kung gaano katindi ang kanilang brain power. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Carmela Jans is a curvy model, makeup enthusiast, and an advocate for body positivity who enjoys fashion shoots that celebrate her body. Denise is a graduate of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines and is a certified public accountant who loves to watch basketball and sitcoms. AJ is a registered social worker who loves to travel and dreams of establishing his own foundation. RS went from a well-informed know-it-all teen to an absurdist philosopher masquerading as a motivational speaker and a multidisciplinary artist. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Wendell Capili, College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Ricky Nelias, Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And now, contestants, Papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Carmela, which Batanggenyo is known as the brains of the revolution? Apelanar Mabini. K-Check. Denise. Ariel or Ariel is the title character in what Disney movie? The Little Mermaid. K check. AJ, which billionaire became the president of the United States in 2017? Barack Obama. Male. Donald Trump. RS, what jasmine plant is the name of the national flower of the Philippines? Sampagita. K check. Carmela, Emma Watson played what character in the Harry Potter movie franchise? Hermione Granger. Kate, Denise, which bird of prey is a national bird of the Philippines? Philippine eagle. Kate, AJ, which Marvel superhero was played by Robert Downey Jr. in 10 movies? Thor. Male, Iron Man. RS, in what country is a TV series Crash Landing on You produced? South Korea. Kate, Carmela, which power utility company plays as the bots in the PBA? Meralco. Denise, Harry Styles was a member of which boy band formed in 2010? One Direction. K. Check. AJ, which young general died in battle at Tirad Pass? Gregorio Del Pilar. R.S. What film franchise starred Jennifer Lawrence as a girl on fire skilled in archery? Hunger Games. K-Check. And that's it for the first round of K-Check. Napaka-init na labanan kanina, diba? first round. Oo nga oh. eh. Carmela, can you tell us about your latest photo shoot? Oh yes, um, it's for a body positivity shoot uh, because I'm a curvy model and um, I do shoots for people who are um, curvy of um, and in body positivity. So um, we um, go on more on like uh, shoots for plus size models mm -hmm. okay. and um, give them more uh, positivity when it comes to angles that usual models we have because um, right now with uh, social media and a lot of um, constraints about um, non-realistic beauty standards. Um, I believe that body positivity through plus-size modeling can help enhance other people's confidence and self-esteem. What do you want to communicate to our young ladies? <laughs> well, obviously, um, just to be really comfortable in your own skin, no matter 
who you are and what you want to be. Don't let um, unrealistic beauty standards, especially in social media right now, to dictate what you want to be and who you want to be. Just be you. <laughs> and that's what's uh, beautiful about being ourselves. We all have our unique selves. Mm, well said, well said. Okay. Ako naman, may tanong ho kay RS. Sabi nila philosopher ka daw. Paki-define naman yung philosophy, uh, philosophy para sa'yo. Define yung philosophy. Yung philosophy ko na lang, naniniwala ako na yung pag-iral natin, walang kahulugan. Pero yung kahulugan, binubuo siya ng memorya, ng alaala, saka ng mga mabubuting bagay na ginagawa natin dito sa Sandibuto. Hmm. Saan mo hinuhugot yung ganong klase ng definition mo ng filosofiya? Sa mga karanasan, saka sa... Nag Tunay na nangyayari sa lipunan. Tama naman yun, no? What a profound view on life, Junelle. Di ba? Oh, gusto mo yun? <laughs> Siyempre. Now, let's do our recap from round one. Wow, this is very interesting. We actually have two people taking the lead. We have Denise at 30 points and RS at 30 points. And then they are followed by Carmela at 20 points. AJ, habol! <laughs> Kayo, ilang tanong ang nasagot nyo? Ako marami. Mga five. <laughs> so, ready ka na? Mm -hmm. Ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan round? Next, here on... K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check at bago tayo magsimula ulit, a recap of what happened last time. Si Denise tsaka si RS ay pareho may 30 points at si Carmela ay may 20 points at si AJ ay hahabol. No? Si Professor Ricky ay may tanong para kay AJ. Professor Ricky, anong tanong mo? AJ, yes. bilang isang social worker, paano kaya yung best way ng pagdidistribute ng ayuda sa ating mag-aaral? Best ayuda, sir, sa pag-distribute ng mga ayuda sa mga students, sir, is dapat po uh, they are holistically empowered to be able to help other people po. In lang po. Thank you. Holistically empowered, kaya mo yun? <laughs> sa tingin ko, kaya. Oo, mukha naman kaya mo talaga yan. Para makakuha ka ng ayuda, kakayanin mo. Correct. Uh -oh. Si Danis naman, tatanungin ko siya. Ikaw ay isang public, ano nga? Certified public accountant. Public accountant. Dream mo ba maging accountant talaga? Uh, hindi, hindi sir. Uh, initially, for practicality purposes lang. Pero eventually, nagustuhan ko yung accounting. So, tuloy-tuloy mm, okay. po. Aha. So, successful ka na ngayon? Magsasabi ko naman, sir, yes pa Tama naman yun, di ba? I wonder kung may firm na makarinig ka yun. Mm -hmm. Kukunin siya, no? Correct. Oo. Oh, oh. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya, contestants, think first before you press that buzzer. Let's begin! In mythology, who was the king of Frisia whose touch could turn everything to gold? Midas. Carmela. Midas. Okay, check. Next question. In William Shakespeare's play of the same name, Hamlet is a prince of which European country? Ang tamang sagot ay Denmark. Let's move on to our next question. What Southeast Asian country had Suharto for its president for 30 years? Sayang. The answer is Indonesia. What is the last letter in the Greek alphabet? AJ. Omega. Okay, check. The famous character Mickey Mouse was created by UBI Works, in which American animator in 1928. Carmela? Disney. Okay, check. Very good. Question number six. 
Which of Spider-Man's enemies was the main character in the 2021 film subtitled Let There Be Carnage? Carmela. Carnage. <laughs> RS. Green Goblin. Ang tamang sagot ay Venom. <laughs> Willis Carrier is best known for his invention of what household appliance? The answer is air conditioner. Sounding like a geometric curve, what do you call a figure of speech where exaggeration is used for emphasis? AJ. Hyperbole. Okay, check. I'll accept that. What term comes from the Latin phrase for almost an island? Refers to land that is surrounded by water on three of its sides. The correct answer is peninsula. In the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which character, originally known as Smeagol, was obsessed in getting back the ring. Ang tamang sagot ay Gollum. One of the biggest hits of 2021 is Leave the Door Open by Silk Sonic, which is composed of Anderson Pack and which Filipino-American singer? RS. Bruno Mars. Okay, check. And the last question for round two. In mathematics, what do you call the longest side of a right triangle? And the correct answer is hypotenuse. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan round. Let's have a recap first of what happens the last round. Now, una si Carmela with 50 points. Si AJ at si R sa tied sa 40 points at humahabol si Denise with 30 points. Dikit-dikit ang kanilang mga scores, no? Ikaw ba sa tingin mo ay makakahabol pa si Denise? Oh, very exciting. Pati si AJ, oh, from 0 to 40. Diba? Oh, oh, from nothing to everything. <laughs> Ikaw, Prof. Wendell, ano masasabi mo? I think uh, they're just enjoying the game and I think despite the fact that dikit-dikit yung, yung laban, ang excitement is... May camaraderie between the participants, and that's what I enjoy most about this batch. Yeah, oh, totoo naman yung camaraderie, di ba? It's important. Mm -hmm. Prof. Neil, ano yung reaction mo sa last round? May reaction ako dun sa comment ni Sir Wendell. Baka dapat mas feisty kasi competition ito, quiz show. Baka dapat mas tumaas ang level dun sa last round. So, hamon ko yan sa lahat ng contestants. Mm -hmm. Narinig mo yung oh, feisty. Gusto ni Sir Neil, blaze this round! <laughs> <laughs> okay, in just a few minutes, magkakaalaman na as we go into the ultimate pagalingan. Up next, here on K-Check! now have a recap of the performance of our contestants. Taking the lead at 50 points is Carmela. She's followed by two people, AJ and RS, at 40 points. And Denise has 30 points at the end of the competition. Yes, okay. So, sana, no, mas gumaling pa sila. Para malaman natin yan, punta tayo sa K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan, where correct answers are worth 30 points. Wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of the round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Question number one, Prof. Wendell. The question is, which beauty pageant gave the Philippines its first international crown? AJ! Miss Earth? Earth? 
Mali. RF. Miss Universe. Mali pa yan. Denise. Miss International. K-Check. Prof. Ricky, next question please. What is the second deepest part of the Earth that is located in Southwest Pacific Ocean? Carmela. Bermuda Triangle. Mali. Denise. Mariana Trench. Mali. Ang deepest ay ang Mariana Trench. Ang second ay ang Tonga Trench. Prof. Neil, question number three, please. After Luzon and Mindanao, what is the country's biggest island in terms of land area? Ang tamang sagot ay Samar. Prof. Wendell, next question. During the 1990s, a Mexican actress and singer captivated Filipino audiences with her telenovelas like Marimar and Maria del Barrio. Who is she? Denise. Talia. K-check. Prof. Ricky, next question. Sa math naman tayo. What is the next term of the arithmetic progression 2, 10, 18, 26? Eight. Malay. Akyat ng ng eight, bawat. Thirty-two. So ang sagot ay thirty-four. Prof. Neil, next question. Who was the Philippine president that responded to the Asian financial crisis in the late 1990s? Denise. Fidel B. Ramos. Naglingkod siyang Pangulo mula 1992 hanggang 1998. Ang tamang sagot ay Fidel Valdez Ramos. K-check. Prof. Wendell. Which Filipino illustrator is regarded as the father of Tagalog comics and is known for giving life to the, char the character Ken Koy? Denise. Mars Ravelo. Mali. The correct answer is Antonio Velasquez or Tony Velasquez. Prof. Ricky, next question please. Sa chemistry naman tayo. What is the crystal structure of sodium chloride unit cell? Pagkakaayos ng mga atoms ng kalaniwang salt, ang tawag ay FCC or face-centered cubic. Prof. Neil. What is the popular name of the European Recovery Program of the United States that provided aid to Western Europe following the devastation of World War II? Pinangalan sa isang general na Amerikano, ang tamang sagot ay Marshall Plan. Prof. Wendell? The question is, commonly known as the queen of Latin music, her biggest hit is Hips Don't Lie. Who is she? Carmela Shakira. K-check. Prof. Ricky. What are the four geological major layers of the earth? AJ. Water, uh, air, fire, and land. Mali. Ang tamang sagot, inner core, outer core, mantle, and crust. Prof. Neil. Uling tanong, uh, what three countries were considered the Allied powers in World War II?
So, pinaka makapangyarihang mga bansa sa Western world noong 1940s, ang tamang sagot ay Gran Bretanya, Estados Unidos, at Union Soviet or Soviet Union. Thank you so much. And that is it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Denise, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 90 points. We'll see Denise again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Carmela, AJ, and RS for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Wendell, Professor Ricky, and Professor Neil. This is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Janelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check!